Various materials can be tested with the X Linear Automatic Specimen Feeding System. For plastics and for metals. The functional operation of both testing systems is more closely explained in the following film. A testing system in X linear construction consists of the following functional units. The X linear feeding system, the magazine table with specimen carriers, the cross section monitor and the barcode reader, as well as the testing machine and the extensometer. The operation of the test system is very simple. The operator stores the test relevant data of the specimen in a data file. Then he places the specimen in the specimen carriers. Plastic specimens are magazined in stacks. The specimen magazine is variable and adaptable to the customer specific specimen geometry. The operator places the filled specimen carriers on the magazine table. After placement of magazines, the test system is started. The control program takes the first test order from the data bank and the corresponding specimen out of the magazine using a vacuum gripper. The cross section is calculated by measurement of the width and thickness. The specimen feeding system can be combined with all thick testing machines up to 250 kilonewtons. After the correct gripping length has been set, the specimen is placed in the grips by the handling system and the test is started. A protective shield is driven in front of the test area to protect against splintering specimens. The reduction in width monitor and extensometer are automatically applied after pre-force has been reached. Various extensometers from the ITSVIC program can be used, depending on the material's characteristics and specimen extension. The test sequence for metals is similar, except that the metal specimens are placed individually in the magazine. A pincer gripper is used to move the specimen. This takes the specimen to the cross-section monitor. The reduction in width monitor and extensometer are automatically applied after pre-force has been reached. For control, the operator can follow the tensile test on the screen. After the test, the specimen remains are taken out of the grips with special grippers and removed. The results are shown on the screen and printed out. Optionally, they can be transferred to a host computer. In addition to automatic testing, manual testing is possible. The specimen feeding system is then decoupled from the testing system. The operator can then control the sequence of the tensile test with the remote control.
Because of the compact construction of the automatization unit, only a small area is required for placement. Subjective influences are eliminated by the high positioning accuracy of the automatic specimen feeder. The traceability of test conditions to DIN ISO 9001 is ensured. Zwick. Intelligent testing.